Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Culture with Reno Z. We're going to get into some culture mercado, guys, a little bit in general. Maybe I'll leave my two cents at the end of Juventus, but I will do tomorrow a nice Juventus uh, news about what's going on. But just to start it off, because uh, the mercado in general, it is kind of moving. There's some rumors, there's some good news, uh, either in... Milan, uh, Inter, then we get into, yeah, some other news that kind of got me, I even think to you guys, uh, about what's happening, that one of the places I just left, Zertsky, and something in general, I do a nice re recap of everything, before anything, put a beautiful like, let's get these subscriptions going, bada bing, bada boom, and please, like and share, of course, as always, percent. Now, where I want to get into this, let's start off with Zerski, that is official at Manchester United, okay, 40 million, and you know, some of the people that are big Serie A fans are kind of disappointed because one of the good players is out, you know, and it's unfortunate that Mina couldn't get this deal. But I know, with the extra money that you have to pay, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's pretty sad in Italian culture that we, we don't have this opportunity to get these players or let these players stay in Serie A. Is he going to do Man United? I don't know, because the players that went to Man United, like the one from Atalanta last year, uh, I can't remember his name, Hoyland, Hoyland, uh, he didn't do that super great as we thought. Even the goalie from Inter from last year as well so good luck on him but you know a lot of people are pissed off about the situation because the Italian culture is going down not only Zerski even Deligit like we sold him last year two years ago you know he didn't do good with Bayern not even with the Holland national uh, national the Netherlands national team at the Euro he wasn't there at all and he's going backwards he's going to Man United does it make it sound like the Italian calcio è finito? You know, because even uh, uh, Kim from Napoli that, that plays now with Bayern, apparently he might go to Inter. So, in Italy they're campioni because Serie A is mediocre. I'm pretty sure France's league is more mediocre than us. But you know what I mean? And they go to these big clubs, they can't managed to do well no so ragazzi no so he's a me boy it's kind of sad to see this happening because i've been posting on my facebook and stuff and they keep as well all these foreign players it's not only the club's fault they have no choice to get these foreign players because you know uh f-i-g-g they don't want to bring these young talents that we have but moving on, instead of uh, yapping about this, speaking on Inter, they might be looking for Juan Cabal through Fabrizio Corona. It's on the short list, uh, which they're looking to get him. But not only Inter, even Juventus as Sky Sport, after I posted it through Fabrizio Romano, uh, even Sky Sport, they mentioned they want to get the Sky Juventus. But we'll see who the first one to nail. But Juventus have other options, which I get into that later. So we'll see with Inter. And on top of that, I forgot last time, Mr. Inzaghi renew his contract 2026. Now, the Copa America is finished. We got to see if it's confirmed that the uh, deal, that renewal from Inter with Lautaro. So, uh, some of my friends told me, well, my YouTuber friends, the great man, Anthony Ndua Waltz, is confirmed that he's going to stay. Or, like he said, if he leaves bring in the money so because only confirmation is uh, what's his name uh, Janinski then they renew the contract um, help me um, uh, Barrella and that young kid that I mentioned the other day which I forgot his name I'm pretty bad with names so don't uh, look at me so that's another set of Wishing that Inter could look at, we'll see. But Milan, Milan, that Ibrahimovic talks so well 
that we're going to do this thing whatsoever. I don't know that much about this player, but they're looking at a right back from Salzburg. No, from LB Salzburg, uh, Straninja Pavlovich. You see, I have it written down, and it's hard for me to pronounce. Imagine when I have a memory, how many times I say, what's that guy's name? Now, I kind of know the name, so uh, he's a center back. So he's, he's one of the main targets of Milan. We'll see how that goes. And they have even talks for uh, Yusuf Fofana, we supposed to, but now we got uh, uh, Turam. And Emerson Royal, they're close as well to, to join Milan. And maybe this guy won't put it in the list, maybe, maybe Fofana. But the Emerson uh, Royal, which some of uh, Milanese are not happy about it, that'll be an option for Milan. Now, Fonseca, as I said the other day, is wanted to bring the U23, correct? But is that going to happen? We'll see, because all these players that you got rid of purely, which is still paid under the contract, to get Fonseca. Now, these players, that it is a 50-50, like, is it for sure that Milan is going to be competitive? I don't know. I don't know. Because Milan was a great team uh, when Berlusconi was around. This is not mean with no Italians. Well, yeah, Camarda is one. Uh, Calabria, really, that the guy, you know, he's at that age. But are they going to let Camarda play? I don't know, man. I don't know. This Milan, I am not impressed. Are you? Leave the comments down below. Now, let's get into some other business. Um, let me see here. Yes, I know. At the end, I'm going to get into Juve because pretty much but before I get into Juve speaking of a Juventus player Roma uh, was interested to Matias Sule like we're not too sure that we're gonna keep uh, uh, you know keep this guy but they're looking at Roma but they don't want to give that option but there's uh, even the Premier League like Leicester is looking for it so but as Roma's ideal the solution, because they're Rossi wants him, so we'll wait and see. I would like to keep him, because even Moto wants to keep him, and let's just wait and see how it's going to go. Now let's close it up with Juventus, because there's a lot of talk about Juventus, and if something comes in my mind that I missed, you know, you guys let me know, or I will deal with it at the end. Because Mr. Tiago Mota is doing a good job, as we see in the video, He's, it's a very tough training. And the first thing he said, he talked to uh, Rugani, Artu, McKenny, Kostic, the Shield, that they are not on the list. The other day I was arguing with one of my friends. He wanted to keep Artu because he says we have to save money, this and that. No. These guys, especially the Shield, a casa, enough. And this is what I like about Tiago Moto. He's doing a wonderful job and he's sticking with his guns by saying, I want this player, and baby, boo boo, and. The ones that are not in his schedule, which he was nice enough to talk to them. Not like the old coach uh, talked behind Bonucci's back and had Junta talk, but as you see what Bonucci said, he wasn't happy about the situation. But we might see him as a future coach, either in Juve or whatsoever. Uh, that's a long story. Maybe I'll do something about that. So we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Because I had a bomb. Uh, by saying, okay, Juventus is closing moments with Atalanta for Cup Miners. Atalanta wants 50 million plus five bonus payable in three, four procedures. Okay, Cup Miners will be the next Juventus player. But then, ragazzi, listen to this. Uh, Atalanta will bid again for Matt O'Reilly from Celtic and, and their priority because Juventus are prepared to send first to get Coop Miners. So if they get this defender, then we can get Coop Miners and a good deal with that procedure. I know a lot of people are concerned about Coop Miners because whoever plays under Gasperini, when they play to another team, Ekaka. This is kind of the good news on the Juventus' hand, and I can't wait to see more and more. So we'll wait and see. Then, I'm, of course, there will be more rumors of other players uh, teams as well 
because the big one is Immobile. Everybody's surprised by Immobile. Only three million he sold them. Lotido to Immobile to this Turkish team. <laughs> poor guy, poor guy. Hey, you need a change and wish him luck. I know a lot of people want a national team, but I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't, but all the best. I'm kind of curious to see what he's going to do there. So, this is everything, my fellow Paisans. Sorry that I cannot do a live. I supposed to do it today. Tomorrow it's not going to happen if something comes up last minute. If not, I have my Paisano, Mr. Trimbley, in the house. And we'll do something. Maybe tomorrow or next week. Now, most likely next week, guys. But stay tuned for some news. Maybe Juventus news. And uh, that's it. Bada bim, bada boom. Like and subscribe, please share, and this is everything from your fellow Paisano, Mr. Arzina House as Calcio with Rino Z. Ciao ragazzi.